Hi, I'm Jared, and I'm one of the product managers at Field Pulse. And today we're going to be walking through how to optimize your schedule with our new booking portal and find availability features. Today we're going to walk through two different features that we're releasing. They can be used together or totally independent of one another. The first is booking portal schedule enhancement, and the second is our newest find availability feature enhancement. Before, your customer would go to the booking portal, and based on the schedule you've set up for your team, such as I'm free 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day throughout the week, they can book any time in that range. But it's not respecting each of your team members and technicians' schedule themselves. So what we've added today is a way for you to actually change the scheduling type on the booking portal. From here, rather than general availability, you can select service-specific availability. And what this does is allow you to create each individual services. So that way, let's say you're doing a consultation, a quick estimate, or you're doing a new roofing job or a leak, whatever it is, you can specify one who is eligible to service that job, when they're eligible to do it, if you need multiple people and more. So go ahead and switch your booking portal to service specific availability. Click save. And then in the job booking section, this hasn't changed too much, but this is where you'd configure which jobs are available in the booking portal. So I'll click add service here. And let's say I just want to call this leak detection. This is all the same. Let's just say I want to estimate a leak for a customer. What we have that's new are these scheduling parameters. So for here, let's say that this is a job I only need one team member for, or maybe I need two team members to be able to complete it. Every time I make an adjustment here, this means that the customer on the booking portal will be referencing my teammate's availability. So for instance, if I need two people for this job, or let's just say one, I can specify which of those users it is. So in this case, I could say it's any one of these four employees. Then how long should the job last? I need a book, let's say two hours off of their schedule. And let's say there's drive time to take into an account, or maybe a certain time of day, there's a lunch break and I know that they have to drive all the way across town, I could specify that I need at least half an hour or let's say one hour free on their schedule before and after the job. This is really helpful if you don't anticipate them to finish the job on time or you don't want to overpromise to a customer when you can actually arrive at their property. Lead time specifies the minimum amount of time from the current date at which a customer can book a job. So if today is December 1st and you specify one, it means that the customer can't book a time until December 2nd. So it's that many hours or days from today's current date. This is useful if you're a company like in foundation or maybe doing security for an entire home where you need time to prepare and order parts. And maybe you wanna give an estimate to the customer, but you can't complete the service with as little notice as 24 hours. So in this case, I'll set mine to one day. And then here you can specify the skills or user tags, which you can specify on each individual user's profile. So I could say this job is only eligible for people who either have the plumbing tag or the apprentice tag. We really recommend adding these skill sets to each of your users so that way you can make sure you have the right person for the right job. You can also change the logic to say they have to have apprentice and the plumbing tag, but by default we'll do or. Something else we offer is booking window. Previously you could only specify for an entire week on the booking portal what your business's hours were, but now I could specify I'm only available Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We're off for a really long weekend, and this service cannot be booked the last day of the week or throughout the weekend. And you can specify the hours of each day individually. I'll go ahead and save the service here. I'll adjust my lead time there to one. Click Save. And if you want to see an action, you can go back to the settings page of the booking portal, click on View Booking Portal. And now I'm acting as if I'm your customer. I'm here to book a service. So here's the category of jobs that my business offers, evaluation. Here's the one I just created. And now when I click next, you'll notice that Thursday is the first day, even though I'm recording on a Wednesday, Thursday is the first day that times are available because I said I want a one day lead time. And you can also see that it doesn't have availability on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I can't select any of these. Let's say I don't want to do Thursday. I can go to the next week and you'll see it have many more times available here to select from, but again, I still can't select Friday, Saturday, or Sunday because I specified those as non-working hours for my team. There's so many combinations of eligibility between all the team members who could work this job. So if I said I need one team member, it could be any five of these people, maybe all five are around at the same time and could service that. We'll do our best to limit the times that are shown on the screen because we don't wanna show 8 a.m. for every single user, 
So we'll combine some of those time slots and give you the ability to select who you want to assign the job to somebody. Now going back to the booking portal settings, if a customer books a job through the booking portal, we will recommend to you who we think is the best fit for the job, and we'll assign someone at random if you so choose. For example, if you scroll down in the booking portal settings, you can optionally, optionally choose to assign a team member to a job booked through the booking portal. When this is toggled on, we will choose the first member that is eligible and assign them to the job automatically. But if you want to review all the requests manually, we recommend keeping this off. And then whenever you go to dispatch the job, we'll show you who we think is eligible to complete the job at the right time. With these schedule enhancements, we've also released the ability to have those booking parameters on the job itself rather than the booking portal. You can use both of these features in tandem. They don't override one another. It's a similar functionality with the goal of optimizing your schedule and assigning the right person to the right job at the right time. So if you use job templates, I've created one in advance, but I can show you what it looks like to create a new one. All of the parameters we display to you on the booking portal now exist on job templates. What this means is every time you create a job, so let's say leak detection, for instance, if you want to use the exact same job template for that job to make sure it's consistent and standardized for your technicians, you can specify for your admin and your dispatch team how many team members are needed for that job every time it's dispatched. So for example, if a customer calls you on the phone rather than going to the booking portal or they send you an email and you want to give them a quick quote over the phone of when you can service them at the earliest, we will take into account all of these parameters. So for instance, if I say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, is exactly when I want to be able to service this job. And I'll go ahead and select all of my team members as eligible. And maybe I want them to be an apprentice or a plumber like we showed before. And it takes about two hours on average to complete this job. I can go ahead and save this. Let me call it leak detection. I'll save this template. Now you only have to do this one time when you create the template. You will not have to do this every time you create the job. So let me go ahead and create a job from this template. I'll go ahead and do that from the main job page. I will import a template here. I'll select the one I just created. Now, once I've selected that job template, what we can expect to happen next is two things. I can click find availability here when I go to assign it to a team member, or I can click it down here. Same thing, we just have the button in two different places. So a customer calls in, they say that they have a leak problem, so I know to use the leak detection job template. Now I can quickly, while I'm on the phone to them, click find availability, and it automatically takes into account everything we have in the template here. Because maybe I have a team of 20 people and everyone's running around in different directions. I don't remember everybody's individual schedule, so this is a great way to templatize it. So immediately, while I'm on the phone to the customer, you can see that a few of the employees are busy on Monday of this week, and you can scroll through their calendar to see whenever they are available. So in this case though, let's say I don't want to scroll through everyone's entire calendar because that would take a lot of time. I know that these are the parameters I have set for the job. I click suggest times and Field Pulse will automatically tell you exactly the time and who we think should be able to service that job based on their skill set and their availability and any other parameter you set. So I can scroll through here and I can select one of these options for this person to service the job and it will automatically show you their availability. So that way I can override the 2.15 to 4.15 PM recommendation if I want, or I can just go ahead and click confirm selection. Now let me show you one more thing. That was for one team member being required, but let's say I need two people to do this job. That's the only parameter I'm gonna change. I'll go ahead and click suggest times, and you'll notice that this looks similar, but now it's adding multiple team members to each of these time slots and taking into account multiple schedules at one time. So in this case, I could scroll down. Maybe I don't like any of the times for a Sunday. I can click find more times and it will load in additional times here for me to select and choose from. I'll click select and it will show me those two people's schedule on the calendar. If I like what I see, I can go ahead and click confirm selection and automatically assign those users to the job and assign that start and end time. Again, we highly recommend using this with a job template, but you can also do it on the fly, or if you don't use our booking portal, you can use this completely independently of that. Thanks for watching our video on how to optimize your schedule with the booking portal and find availability. If you have any questions, you can check out our help center, and if you're interested, book a demo with our team.